Welcome students to this first year engineering video in which I will be explaining the process to Kodo into first year engineering. What I will be covering in this Kodo video will be the eligibility requirements for Kodo, courses that make up categories 1, 2, and 3, the Kodo GPA requirement, and the submission of the electronic Kodo application by your academic advisor by the posted deadline on our FYE Kodo website. The goal of this presentation is for students to be able to determine if they are eligible to Kodo after viewing this video. The general requirements for FYE Kodo are as follows. Being enrolled on this West Lafayette campus for a minimum of one semester, a minimum of three courses, and a minimum of nine credit hours from categories one, two, and three taken on this West Lafayette campus for a grade, at least one course from each category one, two, and three taken on this West Lafayette campus for a grade, that being a C minus or higher, must not be on academic probation at the time of CODO, and a mandatory first year engineering CODO essay. Now let's take a look at the three categories and the courses that may be included in the CODO GPA. The eligibility rules for meeting category one are at least one course from this list taken on the West Lafayette campus, must earn at least a C minus in the course, if more than one course has been taken in category one, that appears on an engineering degree map, we will use any and all for CODO. These courses are typically found on the degree requirement list for most engineering majors, thus the reason they are on this list. Please note that MA16010 and MA16020 are not on this list and would not be used for CODO. The eligibility rules for meeting Category 2 are similar to Category 1. At least one course from the list taken on the West Lafayette campus must earn at least a C- in the course. If more than one course has been taken in Category 2 that appears on an engineering degree map, we will use any and all for CODO. These courses are typically found on the degree requirement list for most engineering majors, thus the reason they are on this list. Please pay close attention to the eligibility rules for meeting Category 3 because they are different than Categories 1 and 2. Only one course from Category 3 will be used for CODO, taken from the West Lafayette campus, earning at least a C-. If a student has taken Engineering 131, or Engineering 133, or Engineering 195, that is the only course we will use for meeting Category 3. Next, we will use any written communications course from the University Core Curriculum. Next, we will use any oral communications course taken from the University Core Curriculum. Next, we will use any Humanities or Behavioral Social Science highest graded course from the University Core Curriculum. Let's now discuss calculating the CODO GPA. All courses in categories 1 and 2 with a grade from the West Lafayette campus will be used in the CODO GPA calculation. Only one course from category 3 with a grade from the West Lafayette campus will be used in the CODO GPA with priority given again as follows. An introductory engineering course, Next, a course from the Written Communications Foundational Outcome List, 
and if more than one written communications course has been taken for a grade, the higher grade is used. Next, a course from the Oral Communications Foundational Outcome List, and if more than one Oral Communications course has been taken for a grade, the highest grade is used. Next, the course with the highest grade from the West Lafayette campus from the Humanities or Behavioral Social Sciences Foundational Outcome List. It must again be noted that all grades of all courses used to calculate the Kodo GPA must be a C- or higher. Lastly, after student has determined that they meet the FYE Kodo requirements and thus are eligible to Kodo, they must meet with their academic advisor and the advisor will initiate the electronic Kodo application. The electronic Kodo application will be evaluated after grades are posted for the current semester. Students will receive an email if their CODA was approved and an email if their CODA was not approved. Information concerning registering for Engineering 131 or Engineering 132 will be included in the acceptance email. Space is not guaranteed in these courses. It must be noted that students must approve the CODO decision once electronic notification is sent. If after speaking with your advisor, you still have questions, you should watch our CODO FYE video before coming to speak with an FYE academic advisor.